Greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm Star Princess HLC, and welcome back to Kindergarten The Abandoned Ones. When we last left off, we attempted to get a different ending, didn't get an a different ending. We kind of got a little bit of extra stuff about it, though, like the fact that, uh, that there's some stuff around the place. Relating to maybe some hidden secrets. Whoop. So, I'm gonna be trying, emphasis on trying, to get everything that I missed last time. So, yes, there was a chest in here on the second night that I possibly could open with a key, but Bobby was not strong enough to use the key. So, assuming that Susie should be strong enough to get the, key, the uh, chest open, we will have to attempt that. Teddy, there you are. I'm so sorry for leaving you. Oh no, Teddy, somebody opened the door. We must close it. After I get this key. How's my, uh... Okay, so... I gotta find more patient pills. If I can't remember where everything is, that's a question. But I gotta get through the first night first. Naturally. We are safe now. If in you say so, kid, little Bobby. It's a newspaper. How's my, ooh, yeah, we're running a little low on the patience. I might want to get more of that. That's not the way I want to go. Just trying to remember where all the patient pills are. That's always the fun bit. Trying to remember where everything is. Whoops! Ah! Oprah murdered me. Dang it! Okay. Very well then. Very well. We shall try this again. With a little more emphasis on try. Okay, so now I have the key. The question of what entails next. Oh, this silly little game again. Okay, so this time I'm gonna try playing with Susie. See if maybe she has anything different. You always said if you hide in the bed, they don't see you. It's cold in here, I must close all the windows. Alright, so let's see what happens if I play Susie for this. Don't have anything on it right now. Fair enough. And then I die instantly to Oprah. Thanks, Oprah. Okay, let's try this again. And not die this time to the cold air of evilness. Alright, so maybe I have to go first to Bobby's room. Aha! Oh, there's a rusty key on the ground. Yes! Okay. Jerk. Oh, no. I'm not here, Oprah. Go away, Oprah. I don't want you here, Oprah. Come on, Oprah. You're gonna jump in bed with me, aren't you? Yep. The bed doesn't seem to be an instant, like, protection situation. It's just kind of like... A thing. It's like a good way to get out of there, but it doesn't seem to stop them entirely. So that's a thing. Uh, 
Face pills. I'm going to need that. I'm already running a little low here. Too bad doesn't give you the option of, like, after you do all that, you can just run right back to bed and see what happens. Turned on, but it doesn't work well. It requires a code. Okay, so that's still a thing. Alright, let's test this out. A letter? The institution's letter to Phil. I'd like to thank you and your wife took them and take care of them now. I really appreciate your decision. Wish you the best. So, the kids were adopted, it sounds like. Ah, dang it. Oh, phone's ringing. And there's that guy. That guy is obnoxious. Oh, deadline. Alright, so I'm assuming it's the same one as last time. Five one nine six, same as last time. Okay. It's an old CD inserted into TV. A lot of old images. They seem to be happy. I mean, we seem to be happy. This is the only thing they left behind. I do really miss them. Hmm. Again. What is going on? The little panda shirt is missing. Okay. That one didn't take as long as the other one. It's interesting, though. Hmm. And you're gonna give me Brummy then. Sure. He is so cute. Do you like him? Not really. Do you like him more than Oprah? I want you to talk to each other, so I'm gonna leave you alone for a few minutes. What happens if I touch it? Okay. That happened. That's nice. Okay, so that's what happens if you touch it. Sure, we'll say that. Hmm. I'm assuming next I should play as Bobby. Alright, we'll move out to the third one. I was a bad boy, left my toys scattered, must collect them. I actually don't like him. No. I never liked him. Never. I don't care about my shirts now. Well, that was different dialogue. Look, there is me. Alright, so... Anything in Susie's room? Susie still doesn't have a cool costume like mine. There's some interesting books. Susie's computer. No, it doesn't seem like that's the case. Although, it does look like there's a redder screen. You notice that? It just makes the screen look a lot redder.
Calming pills. No? Okay, it's not that. Hi, Oprah. Bye, Oprah. Daddy's computer. Mommy's clothes. Fair enough. Okay, so- oh! It's you again. The strange kidnapping guy. I'm still not quite 100% on that one. Whoop. See, Oprah. I've got more calming pills. Whoops! Brummy, don't worry, I won't hurt you. So, Brummy didn't hurt me. Interesting. Oh, my, my patience is down to five. That is not good. Okay, that is definitely a glitch. Okay. But that's interesting. Brummy didn't hurt me after I touched him and he, his eyes glowed red. That's interesting. So is that how I'm supposed to get through the night? It is by, like, treating the dolls nicely? Because I haven't been very nice to Oprah, but Oprah's still been trying to murder me. So I don't know. Yeah, you won't hurt me. That guy will. But still question questionable. Thank you, game. Okay, so Brumby doesn't want to fight me. Now. Something's definitely up with that. Still, it's kind of interesting to note on all of this. Susie, you didn't tell me. So again, it's not adding anything to it. Unless I'm supposed to go again with Susie, but I don't know. This is a little confusing. I'm missing something very obvious, I'm sure. I'm just not sure what yet. Maybe I was supposed to do this section with Susie instead of Bobby, but I don't know. Hmm. Because I'm not getting anything new through this, so I might have to go back as Susie and try it out. But I'm not 100% yet. I'm going to try doing that, I think. The computer needs a password, since I don't know it, I shouldn't try. Ah. That sounds important. I wonder if the password is also 5196. I guess I'll find out another time, because this is definitely getting interesting. I'm finding little things over and over again, and I'm not sure 100% how to 
how everything kind of plays out. So it is interesting to see that there are other aspects of this that is branching out more into the storyline. Also, I'm wondering if I have to go back and do the thing with Oprah, where I can actually make it that she doesn't attack me like Brubby isn't. God damn it, Oprah. Hmm. Very well then. And now I'm curious. I'm going to start a new game. And see what happens if I actually am nice to Oprah. After I do the tutorial. I don't think I ever read this, actually. A 35-year-old man got shot in the head during a terror attack. His children saw the incident. Fortunately, they were not damaged physically. But if I did read it, I don't remember reading it. So I'm wondering... If Bobby and Susie are those kids. That's a thought. Perhaps Bobby and Susie are those children? Do you want me to remove her eyes? I haven't tried that yet. Let's see what happens if I remove the eyes. Oprah isn't too happy now. Oprah feels pain. She lost her eyes, you know. You are not supposed to hurt anyone. Hmm. We should move on. We have to make choices in life, you know. These choices are forming our personality. I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Yes, this question, yes. Uh, because you're special? Okay, so what happens now that I have upset Oprah? Because I'm assuming she's going to try and kill me no matter what. But I figure I might as well at least see what happens in a different scenario. Oh, now she's really mad. And really scary looking. Oh, ugh. I keep thinking about it. I'm feeling worse. That's different. So getting killed by Oprah when you take off her eyes changes the scenario a little. Hmm. There is a lot to this game that I didn't realize. I'll have to do a lot more snooping around and seeing what I need to actually do in order to get a different ending. But that's interesting. There's definitely some more to this that I'm not seeing. And hopefully I can figure this out. But, until next time, this is Star Princess HLC saying, thank you very much for watching, and have a fond farewell. Mm -hmm.